hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Peak District and as you can see I'm right up in the clag at the moment where I am is on the slopes of Bleaklow and this section here is Doctors Gate in fact we parked down at the lay-by just at Doctors Gate down here behind me and we're heading up onto Bleaklow Head and we actually passed some really nice weather on the way here it was sunny it was absolutely gorgeous it's about half past eight something like that at the moment and as soon as we parked up we hit the cloud base and we've been in, in it ever since but we're heading up say to the summit of bleakly head first and then we're going to cross the moor towards higher shelf stones to visit the plane crash site of the b29 super fortress also known as overexposed and i think on a day like today where it's really cloudy it might be quite a moody scene and quite fitting because it's soon to be Remembrance Sunday as well. So we are now on the Pennine Way, which is a well-known long distance trail that traverses right up the Pennine, starting at Edale and then finishing just inside the Scottish border. And this is going to lead us all the way to Bleaklow Head. And I've never actually been there before. I've been very close to the summit, never actually been to the top. So it'd be really nice to tick off another Ethel actually, because I am slowly getting through all of the Ethels, which are named summits and stuff in the Peak District. I think there's like 92 or 94 of them. But it's about three-ish kilometers along the Pennine Way to get to the summit of Bleaklow Head. So we're about 800 metres or so from the summit of Bleaklow Head now and we've just come across a series of beautiful waterfalls that were right alongside the path and I think at the moment they're a little bit better than they normally would be because yesterday a storm Kieran dumped an insane amount of water on the UK obviously flooding many areas in the south but in the peaks up here I think the Met Office recorded about five centimetres over the last 72 hours so nowhere near as much as the south but the rivers and the, the waterfalls are still quite in spate. So we have made it onto the summit of Bleaklow Head and now we're actually at the northernmost cairn because we walked straight past the uh, actual highest point. We came up, I think, slightly the wrong path. We were supposed to be coming up the Pennine Way and I think we branched off just a little bit too late and we kind of 
went up a deep ravine for about 800 meters it still brought us out on the plateau but not where we thought we were going to we thought we we're going to pop out actually at the highest point which is over this way so i'm going to follow this path now for a few hundred meters and that'll take us to the 633 meter summit of bleak low head So we're now on the summit of Bleak Low Head. This is the 633 meter top. And I can just make out the Wayne stones over there. And there's no cairn or anything. I think this little pile of rocks here looked like it used to be a cairn, but it's all collapsed. And of course, no views whatsoever. So what we're gonna do now is actually do a bit of nav practice because we've need, neither of us have been up on this point. And we're gonna do our best to navigate with just map and compass now across the moor to uh, higher shelf stones and we want to go obviously via the overexposed crash site. So what we did is we took a bearing south from the summit of Bleak Low Head to here, which is the Hearn Stones, and this is at 609 metres. And we, again, never been here before, and weren't expecting it to be quite so prominent, but this is quite an awesome little rock formation. And then what we've done is we knew exactly where we were, taken another bearing now for the trig point on higher shelf stones, which is over in this direction. Nick's just trying to find a route through. I think there's a little bit of a path, but we're not following the path strictly in that direction. We're just following the bearing that we've got. So hopefully in 500 meters, we will arrive at the overexposed crash site.
So we've arrived here at the crash site of the B29 Super Fortress and there is so much wreckage about still and do you know what this plane crashed right here on the 3rd of November 1948 and today happens to be the 3rd of November we actually didn't know it crashed on that date and today is the 75th anniversary and it killed all 13 crew members on board on just a simple routine flight and they were apparently descending through the cloud towards Manchester which is over in that direction and they the plaque says that they probably didn't even see the ground coming and just impacted here there is so much still remaining you've got engines you've got landing gear you've got wings look at this wing on this side enormous sections of wreckage and stainless steel look that is still as shiny as the day it was made 75 or well crashed 75 years ago made before then when we arrived here there was actually a memorial going on and a group of people were just saying their prayers or paying their respects to those who died here and we've paid our respects as well now it's time to head up over onto the true point of higher shelf stone and we're going to start our descent from there a very windy 621 meter summit of higher shelf stones and we're now going to head in this direction hopefully come out of the cloud but there'll be a path that allows us to join the Pennine Way So as we've made our way down off higher shelf stones, we've actually found another path that we've decided to take and it's taken us along the very top of this deep valley on our right and a little treat, gorgeous little waterfall down there. Um, this is just avoiding the Pennine Way that we walked earlier. It creates a bit more of a circular walk and we're literally gonna pick up the path over to Doctor's Gate in just a few hundred meters. So we're literally just about to join the Pennine Way. We branched off that terrace path to come over this way because we parked down at Doctor's Gate. And I've got an awesome view over to the skyscrapers of Manchester, like a good 20 miles away. And if I take a couple more steps, ooh, there we go. Pennine Way is here. So I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe and ring the bell to keep up to date with future uploads.